Okay, hey guys, I think this is going to include the conclusion of episode one of Batman the Telltale series. So far, I've actually been like kind of loving it, it's been pretty great. We've kind of done some investigative detective work, we've got the whole politics side going on, and I'm kind of loving it. Although it's kind of weird how he's just met Selina Kyle and they already both know that each other's Catwoman and Batman. So yeah, this is part three, and I guess we'll just jump straight in and uh, see what's going on now. You assume the persona of a bat, but you're not an animal. You beat that man half to death. Your parents didn't raise you this way. And neither did I. He's still alive, isn't he? And in the hospital. <sighs> Next time, it might be the morgue. Especially now, during this... <laughs> preposterous attack on your family. You must show the world the true nature of a Wayne. Giving everything to the city and then being murdered for it? My thoughts exactly. Every time you leave this cave. You're a good man, Bruce. Good. Just like your parents. Don't lose that. I don't mean to be a doddering old fool on the subject, but as a friend, the burden of advice falls on me. Sometimes this job requires hard decisions. You're the right man to make them. In fact, I think you're the only one who can. You bury the person, Bruce, but you never bury the memory. Sometimes I wish I could. That night, that alleyway. It made me who I am. I can't get it out of my head. That is your gift and your curse. Being Batman can allow you to turn back the tide of treachery that's reached this city's shores or drown you in its sorrow. When you doubt your fate, remember why you started all this. Remember that boy in the alley. I won't forget. Neither will I. Tearing them, that seemed awful, like, aggressive for no reason. Well, back into the fray again. Okay, so this is the kind of encrypted data thing that we got from Selena uh, in the first part. So let's see what was on it. Well, looks like that egg finally cracked. And inside, Mayor Hill was hiding... ...more than I could have imagined. This is a complete manifest of Carmine Falcone's criminal organization. What in the world was Hill doing with all this? Illegal arms dealing, drug running, mob hits, money laundering? Falcone's been involved in everything. But it goes back years. This is an insurance policy. Hill could expose Falcone if he didn't play along. That would explain why he's never made a move against him. Sure as hell better than any bodyguard. Okay, we're going back to our virtual map again. This is it, Alfred. With this proof, we can finally knock out Falcone's organization. Where would we possibly begin to dismantle it? This is a police matter. There's only one cop we can trust to handle this evidence correctly. Lieutenant Gordon. He can mobilize the entire police force against Falcone. What about that reporter from the Gazette? Vicky. Yes, uh, Miss Vale. She could release this evidence through proper channels. I suppose it comes down to who you want well, to help most. Commissioner Gordon. Or yeah, should I give it to the, the police guy good? that we know for a fact is a good guy and wants to help? Or do we give it to Vicky Vale, who's a journalist? I mean, the no, cops journalist, are on the right? front lines of this war. Gordon needs this more than anyone. A wise decision, sir. We'll attack Falcone on two fronts tonight. Gordon through the police. And Batman... By any means necessary. Whatever Falcone is planning, it ends tonight. He's a spider, Bruce. Eyes everywhere. A dense web of goons poised to trap you. No one has ever managed to bring him down. I haven't tried yet. I, I kind of love that the even the design on like the back of the neck thing. That's that's kind of cool.
this. This is a silver bullet. And it's gonna put Falcone down once and for all. I don't even want to know where you got this. No, you don't. Still, I gotta know one it thing. It's very Italian. Why give this to me? And the bad guy. Don't get me wrong. Does Bruce Wayne in this? I appreciate the hell out of this. Everyone on the force will too. I heard you were the last honest man on the force. No need to blow smoke. I got enough cancer coming my way as it is. But thank you. Honestly. Knowing this evidence can lock up Falcone. <laughs> I'll sleep like a goddamn baby. For once. You know, as much as I appreciate you calling me here, I gotta make one thing crystal. I can't be bought. So you should know this isn't gonna change a thing about the investigation of your family. The Wayne's always supported the Gotham police. So I like to believe there's no cloaks or daggers hidden in your closet. There are no strings attached. I just want Falcone gone. You and me both. I'm tired of staring at his mugshot. Why do you pull that face? I gotta go. Came straight from a crime scene. Haven't been home yet. Sometimes I think this whole city's a crime scene. We're just walking through it. What you're holding will make walking it much safer. Thanks, Bruce. Well, Lieutenant. Hey, stick to Jim. Okay, good. I'm happy with my decisions. Because in the last one, we kind of didn't run away and we didn't break the guy's arm. So he noticed that we weren't, like, kind of being unnecessarily harsh, I guess. It's done. Good. So is our hunt. The drones located Falcone downtown, a place called the Skyline Club. Although you're not dressed for that kind of party. Well, I can always change in the car. Oh, it turns into it, like the Incredible and that random car from Incredible. So I think in both regards, as Batman and Bruce Wayne are kind of building up the trust with Commissioner Gordon, which is pretty good. That's what I was aiming for. Wait, why that building had no bottom? It was just floating in mid-air. This is like a magical floating building in futuristic Gotham. Drones, cameras, and scanning tech are fully functional. All right. Let's find Falcone. Good point of entry. <gasps> are we going to get to, like, choose as well? Then this, this would be like the heists in uh, GTA 5. We get to, like, choose how you want to do it. That'd be cool. <laughs> Tell me another. What's the difference between the Mafia and City Council? I don't know. Aren't they the same thing? Only one of them is organized. That was good. Ooh. <laughs> You're cute. So, uh, are you alone? Not anymore, I'm not. Mmm, he's in. Where's Nikki? In lockup. Again? Christ, Kimmy. What did they pinch him for now? Some hit down at the docks. Nikki? No. I didn't think he was a hatchet man. You and me both. Well, does he got an alibi? Honey. The hatchet oh, man sounds alibi. like it could be a Batman villain. Anything? Oh, there's something up here. What's this? Cameras. The entire floor is under surveillance. You'll be detected as soon as you enter. No time for subtlety. Anything else we can get a look at? Rose Sigil. The white rose. Falcone's symbol. A red rose after tonight. Ooh. They're gonna kill him. 
Nothing here. You're telling me. I thought we might be able to listen to them guys on the bottom floor, but I guess not. That's the most heavily guarded door in the building. Gotta be Falcone's hideout. Look at the rain. I love well, it. it won't be as easy as ringing the doorbell. Just, Batman's just so fucking awesome, man. Four arm guards. Oh. He's just great. Like, I don't know how anyone can not have him Stealth, like their favorite. Like super, even though he's not a super. I'll put together a part of it. That, that makes him even better. He's like better than the superheroes, and he doesn't even have powers. <sighs> Couple of options for taking this guy down. Talking to woman distracted and unprepared for action. This be a very heavy, very solidly constructed coffee table. I don't know, I don't know. Can we drop the light on him? <gasps> or not? So we could use the light. One not looks like it would kill him, so let's use the light instead. Even though I think the not would be cool, but still. This is awesome. Like, if they actually like, go through and like just show us doing it, that would be like, so cool. Okay, who else we got to deal with? Okay, this guy at the front. So we've got, we've got a staircase, how would that work? Staircase or marble pillar. Hmm. Let's go for the pillar. I mean, stairs probably would have been cool, but never mind. Oh, okay, we can change. This one might be tricky. Any ideas? I've got it covered, Al. Let's have a look at this one. So I'm happy with the other two. Oh yeah, that's what we want. Look at that one. That looks so cool. Okay, and then this guy here as well, right? Just fling him over the barrier. Up a balcony. Oh, okay, yeah, we're gonna go with that one. Boom! Bruce, have you formulated your plan of attack? I'm going in. I'm going in. Very good, sir. Oh my god, I love Your this. Turn to crash his party. Okay, so we've got to keep our eyes open. And try and hit all the right cues at the right time. Love it. God damn! He almost died if that broke. I still hate his walk, his walk's so weird. Alright, here we go. He looked like he died there. Ooh, there's a big potato-headed one. Goddamn circus freak! Oh, 
Show yourself! You got no goddamn right to be here! I want guns! What the hell? Bye bye. Falcone, we can end this now. You got a lot to learn, kid. Sentry gun. No. Explosives armed. Fire when ready. He's right next to it though, whoa! Looks like he shot himself. You've lost, Falcon. I can do a few more rounds! <laughs> The chemicals. Where are they? What? I found your calling card at the docks. It's not gonna be him. The white rose. You think I wanted to lead you here? Yeah, something weeks about this old thing. I don't know the dead bat. Still want to play games? We're all being played here, including you. Those chemicals you're so riled up about, they're mine, all right? But someone is trying to cut me out of the deal because I did not make that mess at the docks. Then who did? No, oh, with that, Gotham's watching now. Ah. A show. I'll be walking free by tomorrow morning. Ha! Gotham! Ha! Biggest gangsters in Gotham. <laughs> Thanks for the assist. Now we only have to take one of you down. Open fire. Come on, Montoya. That was fucking awesome. I love that. Room with a view. It's clever. Right, completed chapter five. So either that's going to be the end, or we're going to have another one. And then it'll be six chapters in each one. Actually, if there's six chapters in each one, then it would make sense if from now on I just do like two chapters per part, you know? So yeah, I might do that if that's the case. Rather than having to kind of guess and just kind of split the five parts, two and three. Fire and smoke could reportedly be seen from street level. 
Tonight, the Skyline Club, a high-rise mafia hangout in downtown Gotham, was the arena for a clash between the notorious Batman and alleged mob boss Carmine Falcone, who was found dangling over a 50-story drop. Bet Falcone loved that view. Though I'd say the crime boss getting his is well overdue, Falcone has slipped through the law's grasp for years. But after this dramatic arrest and evidence released by the GCPD's Lieutenant Gordon, Falcone's going away for a long, long time. And speaking of newly uncovered criminal dealings, this brings me to the story everyone is talking about, the Wayne family. For generations, the big W on the Wayne Enterprises Tower was a reassuring sight. You knew that there was something pure at the heart of Gotham, that this city, for all its faults, was built by good people. But with Thomas and Martha's shining reputation called into question, we no longer have such assurances. And even worse, it seems the apple hasn't fallen far from the tree. Leave us alone. Gotham's greatest son, Bruce Wayne, seen here in the company of gangsters, may be just as crooked as his parents. In his defense, Wayne fired back saying, the Wayne family has always been a cornerstone of Gotham. We've never had and never will have connections to organized crime. In a world where the Waynes, our golden family, are corrupt, who are we left with? Who can Gothamites look up to? The supposed hero Batman? Only time will tell. Meanwhile, we'll keep digging for the truth. But the prominent feeling throughout Gotham is that the Waynes' time in the sun is ending. The suit. The car. This entire cave. Master Bruce? Everything I built! I created all of this because I didn't want any more innocent people to die! If Falcone's telling the truth about my parents, then what the hell did we do this for? Bruce, I... What have you been hiding from me? Oh shit, nice one against Alfred as well. Alfred! Okay, so that was a very short chapter. Did you stick up for Harvey in front of Falcone? Did you provide a quote for Vicky's story? Yes. Ooh, that's a close one. Okay, good. Most people gave it to Jim. That makes sense. Mm -hmm. Well, that makes sense, because it would be really stupid if you beat him up in front of the police or the news helicopter. That would just be ridiculous. Okay, so there you have it. That is Batman the Telltale series, episode one, Realm of Shadows. And uh, honestly, I thought it was pretty great, to be honest. Like, I kind of loved it. Uh, I wasn't sure it's, at first it was kind of slow, maybe, getting into it. Like, other than the opening, like, fight bit, like, the actual, like, Bruce Wayne party thing, that was kind of like, meh. But, uh, like, I loved the, the doc section where we did all the investigating. I love the use of his detective thing and linking everything together. Then that fucking bit there with uh, Falcone, where you go through and decide how you're going to take everyone out and then do it. That was fucking great. Yeah, honestly, I, I thought it was great so far. And I know they're probably going to have a good big opening for part one to make you want part two, because obviously it was episodic and you do it as they come out. But hopefully they'll keep that up and it won't just be like a here's a really good intro to kind of get you to do the second one which isn't as good because that would be kind of a shame but we'll see what happens but i so far i'm fucking loving it to be honest like as a big batman guy that hit the mark for me so i'm really happy with it and yeah there's the stats and it says a to continue to next time on i'm like super anti trailers and spoilers and stuff so i'm gonna not even like look at it but I will press A and you guys can see it and that'll be like the end of this episode will be the teaser for the next episode. But I'm not going to watch it because I want to go in fresh. So if you guys want to go in fresh, then I'd say stop it here and thanks for watching. 
Uh, but if you want to see like a teaser thing of what's going to happen in the next episode, then I'd say stick around and watch the trailer thing. But that being said, I've been Nukes Plays. That was episode one of Batman Telltale series, The Realm of Shadows. Loved it. Hope you guys did too. Uh, let me know what you thought in the comments. You think that was good? Do you think it was kind of meh? Were you hoping for more? Uh, I think it was better than Life is Strange 2. Um, if it keeps on with that kind of consistency and pace, then definitely it will be. So with that being said, I'll see you guys next time for part one of episode two, whatever that's called, I don't know yet. And like I said, stick around for the teaser for the next episode. But yeah, thanks for watching, stay awesome, and I'll see you guys next time for episode two. Thanks a lot, guys. When your parents died, they left me as caretaker of their estate, their son, and their secrets. I would never betray them. Your parents were good people, Bruce. No matter what that thug Falcone told you. Then swear to me, there's no truth to it. The evidence you brought me on Falcone held up. Maybe I misjudged you. Now Batman's beating up mobsters too. Wonder who he's after next. Hell of a view. Bruce, the Wayne name is toxic. I have to do what's best for my campaign. What's best for Gotham. I have to... distance myself. I will find the truth. Along with anyone who stands in my way. <laughs>